Hey guys, we're back in Philippians 1, 7. And one of the benefits about looking at scripture differently and on a daily basis is that we get to see things that we wouldn't normally get to see. Today, I want to draw your attention to what Paul has to say about the three methods that he talks about in verse 7. He talks about uh, in chains, he talks about defending the gospel, and he talks about confirming the gospel. Now, what's interesting is, is that it's easy to read past these things and not think about how hard they would be in real life, like for you or I. If we were going to defend the gospel in chains, super hard. If I'm in prison, I don't know that I'm like shouting the gospel from the mountaintops. Um, defending the gospel the way Paul says it is different than being in chains. That's about theologically defending it. And then the last part is confirming it, which is disciple making, which if you've never done it before, can be scary or even overwhelming. And what I love about these methods is it reminds us that sometimes our mission will take us to very scary places. There are places in your life right now that you don't want to go, that your mission's like, no, we got to go there. We got to do that thing. We got to try something new. And I just want to give you a little nudge today that, that sometimes we are called by the mission that God has, has called us to, to a scary place. But in that scary place, not only do we see transformation of the world around us, we see transformation of the world that dwells in us, internal transformation. And that's why some of these missions are so important is that not only are they going to change the people that come into contact with you, they're going to change you. Think about that this week as you continue to dive into your mission, what that means and what it looks like. I'm praying for you. And hey, if you need help figuring out your mission or talking through it, hit me up, Tony at RestorationCenterville.org.